All right, so we are on question D, create a linear model for the science club by finding the LSRL. So we're, we have all brand new data. So we're gonna wanna do step seven on your directions and clear all lists. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit second plus four, enter. And you can see it says clear all lists, done. So we want to, we don't have to do step one or two anymore since this, since we're continuing to use the graphing calculator. This is in our first LSRL that we're calculating for the day. So we can move, jump right to step three, creating your, or entering your data. So go ahead and hit stat enter. Here, uh, stat enter brings us to our list. We want to start with list one and we're going to enter in all of our X values for years since 1983. So 0, 3, 5, 7, 11, 14, and 16. Uh, seven values, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And in list two, we're going to enter our membership values. 34, 35, 43, 50, 49, 61, and 63. And once again, we've got seven values. That's perfect. Uh, you guys can... Do step four if you want to create the stat scatter plot and to look at it to see if it matches your front, um, but it's not required in this problem. So I'm gonna jump right to step five, which is finding the regression model, finding that LSRL. Um, so we're gonna hit stat right four, stat right four, hit enter a bunch of times so you get down to calculate it, press it one more time, and start writing the equation. So we've got y hat, is equal to, um, remember on our calculator, it's AX plus B, where A is this, so it's this equation, but we have to plug in A and we have to plug in B. So 1.88X uh, plus B, which is 32.82. Okay, make sure you're rounding to two decimal places correctly. And there is our LSRL for the science club. Question E says, interpret the meaning of the slope for the line in context of this problem. So it's gonna be very, very similar to number to letter B. So for every one year, because remember our slope is 1.88 over one. So for every one year, there, was an increase of 1.88 members. And once again, this is on average. Okay? So obviously you can't increase by 1.88 members every single year. Um, can't have 0.88 people, so on average. And question F, what is the residual for the membership of the science club in 1990? Interpret the meaning in context of the problem. So remember from question C, residual equals actual minus predicted. So residual is gonna equal our actual minus predicted. Our actual value for 1990 is going to be 50. And we're gonna subtract our predicted value. Once again, to find our predicted value, we're going to use that equation we just found. So 1.88. Uh, instead of putting x, though, we're going to put the number 7 because the year 1990 is 7 years since 1983. Uh, so times 7 plus 32.82 and get a predicted value of 45.98. And then when I do my subtraction of 50 minus 45.98, that equals a residual of 4.02. And with this one, we have to interpret its meaning in the context of the problem. So on average, in the year 1990, we were about four members above the average. So four members above what we would predict. All right, and one last video, go ahead to question number three.